I don't know. It looks like it's had problems from the beginning and whatever. It doesn't matter. It's an easy fix. So that controls sort of the downflow. No, that diverts the water. So the water comes in here and goes up. Normally the water goes right through yeah. here, like right now, all goes the way right through past into the pool, into the heater, yeah. back into the pool. This thing comes and blocks it. So now the water can't go to the pool. It forces uh, it up to the solar. Oh, it blocks it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I get and it. Then it comes yeah. back. That's all. That's all. Solar is. It's just we're just diverting the water. What am I doing? God. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop talking. No, you're fine. <laughs> hey, I just, I'm all flustered because this is supposed to be a startup orientation and now I'm diagnosing problems in a brand new system. So you have gotten the rundown on how to operate this thing, I take it you've already... Very brief, I mean, I'd, that's why we called you guys, was that that you told us to call you once they, the pool right. was up and running, and I figured, given that he didn't give a real thorough description, I'd rather have you guys come and tell well, us how to use the solar. Yeah, it's really simple. Um, I'm going to talk as I'm doing yeah. it. The main, the most important, there's three very important things. Um, one of them is that you shut it down by November 1st. For freezing. Yeah, and that honors your warranty. You have a 12-year warranty on those panels. Okay. So if they freeze, that warranty will be voided. If so you, you shut it down and then you drain them through here? Yeah, do you have any other hose bibs or just these two? I think just those two. Okay. I mean, they would have, uh, they would have showed you. Yeah, not, I mean, didn't show me anything else. Okay. I would be really upset if this wasn't the problem. <laughs> okay, so. Perfect. So anyway, it's important that you shut it down yeah. by November 1st. Okay. And you can turn it on April 1st. All right. Trust me, it's not going to help you any, t any Yeah, right. Once it's, it's, especially on this side of the house, it's yeah. not like it's going to... It's not going to heat your pool. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to be swimming in October. I promise. It, well, you have a heater. So we have yeah. the gas heater, so my wife might be swimming in October, but we'll be paying for it. Yeah. And that's an option. See, so you have this thing called Solar Preferred. Yeah. If you saw that it said Solar Only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do Solar Preferred, and what that means is the solar will override the heater. And it uses up all the heat that it can out of the solar, basically. In, until it's not warm enough on yeah. the roof. So you have a temperature on the roof, a sensor on the roof that reads the temperature. Mm -hmm. Then you have a sensor that reads the temperature of the water. And if the roof isn't warm enough to heat your pool... It'll just fire up the heater. It'll turn the heater on, exactly. Until November 1. But, I mean, yeah. given the sun, it, it's not going to do much in late no. October anyway. No, exactly. Salesman... Uh, See, so you, you bought a pool, so it's not like you had some salesman come in here and pull your ear full of BS, but you know how many calls I run where people are upset because the salesman said something that's just, that's not That it's going to run all January? And yeah, exactly. It's like, man, they're just trying to make a sale, and I am the one that's out here and sees this stuff years and years and years of it, so I said, I know how this stuff works, and I have to cover up their... Manipulative ways. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Marketing. Marketing. Yeah. But, um. I mean, that's why we wanted a decent gas heater because if she wants to swim laps later in the year and right. not wear a wetsuit. <laughs> and I'll tell you, you bought, and I'm just saying this because I don't think you bought it from us, but if you have, you have a variable speed pump. Yeah. And that variable speed pump is superior to any pump out there right now. 
It's like when the iPhone first came out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's, you know, now everybody's had... going to copy this one? Yeah. Oh, they're trying. Yeah. There's a couple of them out there, but I'm telling you, they're junk. So you, you have the best system out there. You actually have the one system out there that can be controlled by an iPhone. You see, I was looking. I was trying to figure out if there was a way to... There is. I'll leave you the brochure okay. on awesome. it. I have a brochure. Yeah. I don't know if it's really reasonable for you to do that or not. It's not. I'm just a gimmick more than anything else. It really else. is. But you have the but one I, system out there that, that is compatible. I like you hacking my way around things that the iPhone can do. So. Yeah, I know. I, I got my phone too. I feel. <laughs> That's why I grabbed these packets. I was in the pool supply store and I saw them. I was like, you've got to be kidding yeah. me. But I'll grab it because I'm sure there's going to be some people out there that are interested. I have a grad student. In, I, I'm a professor on campus. I have a grad student in my lab who's a serious hacker so i'm uh -huh. i'm sure he'll figure it out <laughs> all of his friends work at google and he tests all their new devices oh wow he's he i mean he could easily be a software engineer at google he just wants to go to grad school so uh -huh. um but he gets like their in development phones and their <laughs> right <laughs> and they want him to hack his way around them so. uh, that's pretty cool yeah that's cool Do you, by chance, have water? I do. Would you I'm like so some? Dehydrated. Would you like anything else? No, water would right. be great. I will get I really you some. Was the actuator? Ah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I really appreciate it. You know, I stopped this morning and I got an energy drink. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. So I gotta. I just gotta calibrate this to stop. So that switch you were looking at there is for installation purposes only. It's just so. Uh, the little switch on the side? Yeah, thing. this on, one, on, two thing. That's all it's for. It's for me. It's yeah. for installation. And after that, you really don't need it. Um, your solar's coming on right. right now. That's the funny thing about these is when you kill the power on them, <laughs> they're trying to catch they try, the yeah. communication and all that. Still on now. Good. That's good. That means everything's going to work now. Startup and orientation, and I'll call you Mike. Yeah, I think I'm number 24 now. Yeah, I was trying to call you yesterday. I kept saying your phone was out of service. I uh, got you. Okay, so that will be our off position. And that is the top switch.
You're just setting where it turns to, or exactly. So, that is the on position, mm -hmm. and that will be the off position. Because whatever, there's a diverter block in here, so whatever this is pointing at, that, that's where the block is. Yep. So right now we've got the block open, so that the water can just pat, pass yeah. right through. So that's solar off. Put this back on. Crack the driveway. Do you have to redo the whole thing or what? Just the top part. It wasn't the whole thing. This little part over here where they uh -huh. the connector piece to their walkway. It's alright, it was better than cutting down three trees on the other side of the yard. Jeez. We already we cut down three trees to put in the pool. Jeez. But it actually wasn't that bad because one of them was an apricot that was sick. Uh some fungus thing and another was basically dead anyway so yeah less work for you yeah you know for a while we were like oh we need more shade cuz it's freaking hot and uh, yeah <laughs> so we were planting trees and then once you have a pool you don't worry about that god i'm so thirsty figure out why that thing isn't working later Okay, so let me just do one more thing, just to be nice and clean. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you tape that? Yeah, I mean, I d honestly, it doesn't matter. Water can get in there. Yeah. It's low voltage. There's not, uh, yeah. it won't affect it. We actually run these wires through the pipes sometimes. <laughs> right, right. Um, we use these things called HACO fittings, and... Huh. They're pretty cool. They allow you to put wire through, wire, through pipe because sometimes that's the easiest way to. Yeah, it's can, the yeah. easiest way because yeah. not every system is right here. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So you just run it through the pipe and. Yeah, I'm just doing this so the sun doesn't beat on these connections and they go bad and then yeah. one day it doesn't work. So when it would. In the, the shutdown mode, you, you drain it out and then you shut these. Is this how you keep yes. stuff from going up there? Yes. Yeah, okay. That is correct. And I will show you when I go over that right now. First, I want to make sure it works properly, and then we will go. I'll go over this checklist. I haven't checked this. Yeah, all right, over. good. I'm, I'm sure you got one too, but. Well, no, we didn't. Okay, well, I'll leave you one. Because it'll help you. Yeah. It's really not complicated. No, it don't, doesn't seem that complicated. Yeah. It's not. You have an easy system to, to operate. Everything's pretty much automated. It'll yeah. do it on its own. The only thing you're going to have to do is, you know, shut it and drain it down in the winter. Yeah. And in the spring. I grew up in the East Coast, so we had to shut down everything in the winter. Oh, yeah, I bet. Okay. Why you weren't working, I don't know. Because your friend is making you. Okay, now let's put this back into auto, solar's on, if we can just get the pump to come on we'd be good. Might take a second sometimes. Yeah.
you ever start this thing in service mode, make sure you stop it in service mode. If you put it back into auto, it's not going to communicate with each other. Huh. So you want to, um, st if you yeah. start it in service, stop it in service. Okay. Okay, so your solar's on, everything's on, but the pump. So let's just give that a minute. So, these valves are, are cattywampus. Everybody and their mother wants to believe that this is the <laughs> yeah. closed position because yeah. Yeah. every other valve in the just world. The instinct is, yeah. Yeah. But like I said, this whatever this is pointing to is where the block is. Yeah. So when we turn these up, that'll block it. So in yeah. the summer, you um, you will open these valves because yep. they will be, you know, in line with the pipe. Yeah. And all this is is a locking nut right here, okay? It's just lock that enables you to turn it, and then you can lock it so nobody so can So nobody can bang, okay. So, in the spring, you will turn these to this position right here. Then you will close your two drains, mm -hmm. and then you will set your solar, just like you did at yeah. the control. Right now, your solar's on. I want to take a look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's... There's water coming in there to the pool. Now, now every time your solar comes on, this is what it's going to do. Yeah. Common sense, it's pushing the air yeah. out of the panels. Now, there's a, a valve on the roof. You can't even see the panels. No, you got to go over in there, yeah. Are they on this side? No, they're over here on the, the, the north west. I sure you didn't have any. They're none on the other side. They're all right along that face and up on the top. You have a valve on the roof that's uh, called a vacuum relief valve. So <coughs> when the solar shuts down, the water is going to want to fall, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just like having your finger on the end of a straw. I mean, the water, you know, you can pull yeah. the water out. Yeah. The weight of that water will collapse all this stuff. Yep. It'll, it'll, I've seen it done. Yeah. The pool guy, the, the valve's leaking, a pool guy comes out and puts an end cap in there, and it'll smash that stuff. Yeah. The reason I'm telling you about this valve is because um, it's designed to let air into the system. Yeah, yeah. All it's, that's what it's for. Yeah. Just trying to see if there's... Yeah, you can see it from their driveway is basically the only place we can go to see it. I want to see if you have a self-training system or not, because there's a lot of things on that checklist that we can cross out if you do have a self-training system. I'm pretty sure you do, because if you didn't, they'd have a third drain somewhere have an eye level drain yeah. coming down. Yeah it is. Oh you have good panels man. Those are the you have sun star. These are great panels. The only reason you got those panels is because you had a pool builder build your pool. That's the only time we sell those panels for some reason. <laughs> for that we for only the... do it through pool builders. And it's unfortunate because those panels are superior to every panel out there. We use Favco majority of and the time. And are those just like Mini tubes, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. So that's and all the fill water is filling it. Oh, they fill. It. Yeah. If they, if it, if you do it the other way, the water moves too fast. Yeah. It doesn't get heated. Yeah. So they, the water comes up and they fill up. Yep. And as they're filling, they get heated. So you have a self-draining system. There's also no maintenance on these panels. There's nothing to tighten every year. The other panels, you have panel connections. You have end yeah. caps. You have yeah. all the stuff to maintain. These are carefree panels, and they're going to last you a very long time. Um, I've been in the field for five years now, I'm telling you, these almost never have problems. Fabco, it's like every single well, That's year good, because I'm technically so, incompetent, so. Well, as you can see, everything here, the way it's plumbed, when that pump turns off, everything's going to come right down. Yep. So to drain your panels, all you got to do is open those two yeah. nose bibs. Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay, so let's go over the checklist real quick, and then we'll be set, and you can ask questions or whatever. So the temperature on the roof has to be four degrees warmer than the temperature of your pool for the solar to come on. Does that make sense? Yep. Keep doing that. Yeah, I gotta fix the rock there so it doesn't hit them. Alright. And is it measuring the the actual roof temperature or the water temperature in the panel? Yeah. Okay. Not no, it's not reading in the panels. Yeah, so it's the actual roof temperature. It's reading the, the roof temperature. The, Water temperature gets red down here, and that is 
usually right there. Yeah, he showed me there's some thermocouple somewhere in there. one of these. Yep, that's it right there. That's your water sensor. So you have three sensors. You have an air sensor. So air temperature, water, water in the temperature, pipe, and roof temperature. And that one right there, that probe is going into the pipe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do some crossing out yeah. on your copy, just so. Uh, well, I'll make this your copy. We'll All go right. over it. So, did you get an owner's packet? Uh, probably no, I'll have to ask my wife, but okay. I don't know. If you don't and you want it, okay. go ahead and call the office and right. have them send you one. Okay. It's really not beneficial yeah, just telling you yeah, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. If you want one, they'll go ahead yeah, and, right. and do that. Second yeah, you one. you told me about the April and November. Yeah, we, right. we covered that. So to turn it on, you close all hose bibs. You only have two. Yeah, okay. So those will be open all winter. Yep. Just close them. All right. Open isolation valves. They're open right now. Those are those. Yeah. Okay. If you want, I think I have a, a diagram that shows you the open and on position. If you think, if you feel like you're going to be confused next season. No, I don't think so. Okay. I got it. Just remember this. They're in line. They're close. Yeah. yeah. If they're not in line, they're open. Yeah. And they can only turn 90 degrees. Yeah. Okay. Open isolation valves. Explain the, yeah, okay. Set control to auto and turn temperature knob all the way up. However, you have a lot more, your system yeah, is way more not, sophisticated yeah. than that. So what you need to do, where's your little yeah. controller? It's turn on solar and set the heat on high or exactly. something? Yeah, all right. So, and it, you yeah, already I can understand do that. that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, lights and switches on control. You understand that? I mean, it, it, Yes. Whatever's lit up is on. Yeah. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. This is this was built years ago when we just had a simple control yeah. on a pump. Yeah. So it really doesn't follow your system. That's okay. It's but it translates it, 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 in some ways. Yes. Um. Keep. You obviously want to keep the door closed to prevent damage. Yeah, on that, and they've got the little lock thing. So. Yes. Um. When your pool has reached the temperature you like. Turn it down. Yeah, but that's just going to do it through the sensor. So. so, yeah, exactly. So, if your pool, you don't like it to be 88. No, I need to probably set it to back to 86 or there something. You go. Or, just turn it down. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah. Now, with your pool, with your variable speed pump, what Pentair recommends is you run the pump from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. all year round. Yeah, that's what we programmed. We programmed it to the, the filter or default pool setting is from 9 to 6. Perfect. And the winter time is when you're going to save the most money with this pump because right now it's ramped up because it's got to push for your solar. When your cleaner pump comes on, it's also going to speed yeah, up. Yeah. But in the winter time, it's going to run at a very low speed. And the reason you still have to run it this amount of time is because it's running at a lower speed. So you got to be able to turn all the water in the pool. Yeah. However, I will tell you on a personal note, I see a lot of customers who say, I'm not doing that, and they run their pump four, three, four hours a day. Yeah. So you can monitor that yourself. If, yeah. If you don't want to run it all day, and so the, you don't have to. The speed settings, uh -huh. he set the speed settings on here, but I don't, I don't know if they're, um, is there recommended settings for the pump speed when you run it through the solar versus? Yeah, but it, every, every system's different. Yeah, okay. So right. what we want to do is, Make sure our pressures are right, and they're exactly right. Okay. So we have 20 and so you're pounds. looking at the, the the resistance pressure. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. This is the this is the pressure at the filter. Yeah. That's the pressure after the filter, but 20 pounds is exactly where we want to be. Okay. Okay. So it's whoever set the speed obviously yeah. is is somewhat intelligent and knows what yeah, they're okay. doing because it's running perfectly right, right now. Um. Explain air purge. Every time your solar comes on, you're going to get an air purge. That's what you were just showing me with the... Okay. Right. If you get... If the pump's been running, let's say, an hour, and you have continuous champagne bubbles, yeah. that's a lack of pressure on the roof. Two things you can do. Make sure your filter's clean. Uh -huh. You can go get yourself a hose bib pressure gauge, and if you put it on this, this uh, pressure yeah. should be the same as this pressure, because yeah. this is after the filter. If this says 25 and this says 5, yeah. you got a dirty filter. Yep. 
it's not hurting anything, the champagne bubbles, but we get a lot of calls. Uh, constant bubbles, constant bubbles. Yeah. When I come out, it's 90% of the time it's a dirty filter yeah. or it's a bad pump. We know it ain't your pump. So, and your cartridge filter is... We is, just cleaned we it. We just so, cleaned it. Yeah. And I can tell because the pressure's are yeah. So if you get champagne bubbles, don't be concerned. Yeah. Just make sure your filter's clean. Okay. That's all you need to worry about. Okay? Now, when you're cleaning the filter, are you going to be doing it or are you going to have a pool service? I think we'll probably have a pool service, but I'll okay. probably end up doing it the first few times until we figure out... What you want to do... What we're trying to do here is, is prevent you sending debris up to that mm -hmm. roof. So, you, when you clean the filter, you have to shut your solar down. Yep. But it's really simple. You don't even have to touch that. If you just come over here and you put... <coughs> Put it in service. Mm -hmm. Service. The solar pump, everything's going to turn off, okay? Then you walk over to And this is all on the checklist, just like I'm talking to you. Close these two valves. Now go ahead and clean your filter. And that prevents anything from going up. And then before you, you must turn it back on and let it run a little bit before you open you it up. It. Yeah. You nailed it. See, you know, there's somebody already went through this with No, you no, but I, you know... Common sense. Common sense. <laughs> so you just don't want this you don't want crap going up there because they're a pain to it'll get up to, and it'll yeah. It'll plug your panels and it'll void your warranty. Yeah. So, but this is the part where where I was telling you. Now you have, have to restart service. it in service mode. There yeah, you go. Okay. You're, you're gonna have no problem with this. So you clean the filter. I'll forget it in five minutes, which is why I'm yeah. recording it. <laughs> you clean the filter. Yeah. Then you turn the pump back on yeah. at, at the pump, yeah. let it run for two minutes, that's yeah. fine. Then go ahead and open your valves back up, and then just go back to your control and put it in auto, and everything will override yeah. and come back into how it's supposed to do. It's, it's very important that only clean water makes it to those panels. Okay, so if you're going to have a pool guy, just laminate it yep. and hang it on the control. And to shut it down is the simplest thing in the world. All you do is go into your control. Sure that that's off. Yeah, where it, where it says yeah. pull mode, you'll hit off. Yeah. You'll just hit that until it says off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, once that valve is completely rotated, pointing down, yep. close those two valves. And then drain it. Open your two drains. You're done. All right. That's it. That's pretty easy. Any questions? I don't think so. I mean, that's... If you, um, when you set it in the... Solar preferred mode. Um, what it's doing is basically this is deciding to turn on and off depending on how much heat you need. Is that basically what's going on? Solar preferred is, is this. If the roof isn't hot enough to heat your pool, yeah. your this will fire will. on. Okay. okay so, so the water comes in through here, and then this is what's sending it back to the pool. Basically. Exactly. So right so now, so with the solar, it goes through there regardless of whether the after the yeah, solar. Yeah. So. It, the gas, it still flows through there regardless of whether the gas is on. Yeah, okay. exactly. So if it's on solar preferred and it's a, it's a, it's spring time. In the middle of yeah. summer, you're going to find that you don't really need your solar so much. This but we haven't used it and it's been, yeah, yeah that's I mean. true. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So in the middle of summer, you're going to find that you're, it's not needed that yeah. much. Yeah. It's more to help you extend your season. Yeah. So when it's springtime and fall, when the weather's not hotter than hell yeah. outside every day, and a cloud goes over your roof, yeah. and it's on solar preferred. Yeah. This valve will turn off, uh, and that'll turn on. Uh, okay, so the valve will actually turn off, so yeah. it keeps it, yeah. Because okay. we don't want to send water up yeah. to a cold yeah, roof. Yeah, it's a waste to of pool, pump that. Cool, cool yeah. your pool. So, oh, okay. solar preferred, I, it's going to be very expensive to heat your pool with the gas. Yeah. Yeah. So, I wouldn't use it unless you absolutely have to. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna have to write a couple of books. But so. you've got you've got a you know <laughs> you've got a good amount of uh, panels up there, yeah. and you've got a good system. So yeah. you, and just remember, it can only do what the temperature can. Yeah, do. no, I yeah, of course. It's not magic. It can only do what it's capable of doing. It's all what the temperature is outside. We have a six-year-old and a four-year-old. We don't really spend money on anything other than the pool now and the kids. So right, we'll have to see what how it goes. Yeah, and, and every system's different. You know, people yeah. always ask me, well, what, what's my pool going to get to? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. Depends on the sun, it depends on your pool, depends on your equipment. So when I was growing up, we had no heat in our... My mom built a pool when I was, like, 11, and there was no heat in it. This is in Washington, D.C. Oh, jeez. And um, 
you know, I'm used to swimming in a 70 degree, <laughs> 68 degree pool, so it's, right. And it's, right this now, is like dreamy, it's 84 or something, 83. Yeah, it's, and we have it set to 88, it's 84, no, air temperature 84, pool 88, pool 83. Oh, pool 8, yeah. So let's, 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 uh,